Let's see some special things that you have to do when you're using Pathpilot Hub. These are special because they are unique to using Pathpilot Hub. They are things that you would certainly not need to do if you were actually using it with the uh, Tormach machine. So these are things only that you would do if you're using the Hub. Before we enter Pathpilot, I do want to show you down here at the bottom, you do have this area that says My Files. And um, this is where you can upload a file, say um, some sort of uh, uh, G code that you have generated in Fusion 360. You've designed a new part and you want to see how it runs through the uh, Pathpilot software. You can upload it here. This is also where you can access your files that you have saved earlier. And maybe you can put that on a flash drive and then run them on the mill. Uh, so it allows you to design on... Uh, Pathpilot Hub, things that you could run uh, on the Tormach mills. Let's go ahead and uh, enter Pathpilot here. You need to click Connect. And the next thing that it does is it asks us to agree to their terms. Of course, we want to do that. And one more time, 770M+. Plus. Yeah, let's see. Sometimes that takes a while to load here and there. Um, that just took a while and I edited that uh, relatively long way out. Um, I'm going to be clicking reset here. And of course, just as you've always been shown, you reference the Z, the Y, and the X. Okay, so those have now referenced. What that's done is that has sent our um, uh, mill table and the spindle head itself to one of their limit switches on each axis, and it uh, calls that uh, position zero. Um, then what we're going to do is I want to switch here by right mouse clicking on this black screen up here. I'm going to switch this to an ISO view, an isometric view. And if you look there, um, we can call this the uh, the fish tank. And so this shows us our current position. And um, our current position is identified over here by that little X. The way that we do that is we're actually going to be changing to uh, a relative or an incremental mode. And the way that we do that is we have to type in some g-code and this is the first little bit of g-code that you'll really be typing <clears throat> and if we type in this line uh, g0 and that's a command and we're going to change to this incremental mode which is called g91 then we're going to have it move to the center of its travels in the x y and z axes so the distance that the machine can move in the x-axis is actually 14 inches. So we're going to say x7, half of 14. We're going to tell it to move to y, negative 3.75. And we're going to then tell it to go to z, negative 7.5. Now, you would never ever do this in the um, uh, using Pathpilot uh, on the machine. I don't want you to move it to these coordinates um, just right out of the gate how we're doing it here. But uh, the reason for this is um, it needs to go to the center of its build volume so then we can move around and we can zero everything off of that point. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to press enter and if you follow along it showed that it just moved our point to right here in the middle and so now what we can do is we can say all right we're going to now call this position zero so we're going to say zero for the z zero for the y zero for the x and so now it knows its position right here is zero 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 now that we have done that move, now we want to get out of this relative mode. We need to G0 one more time. 
And instead of G91, that was the incremental mode, we're going to go to G, oops, G, G90. So I'm going to press enter. And it didn't look like anything changed, but that just changed us back to G90. If you look down at the bottom, it knows that we are in this uh, absolute mode where it says G90 down here at the bottom. Okay, so the distance mode you can see it says is absolute. All right, so those are the things that are specific to using Pathpilot Hub that we wouldn't be doing uh, if we were using it on the machine. We're going to be um, including that kind of information in each one of our uh, tutorials that we have coming up.